live for the other day, like I said, for any psychologist to analyze a person properly, they can't know anything about their past or have any influence told or spoken to, to them, such as from the RCMP or whatnot. Just like uh, your legal aid lawyer can't get a letter from the RCMP on how to treat you and a bunch of false information about you other than what's off thesis, what they can read off your computer. Common fucking sense. Psychologists can't have any information about the person when you walk in there and be analyzed because then uh, it would taint their information with your ignorance and uh, bullshit. So, uh, you've already lost RCMP with your fucking ignorance. I suggest you all stand down from this fucking country and leave it because you're not Canadian citizens for your human rights violations, for one, on people who make under $25,000 at least because they're all fucking starving to death and you're not looking after the protection and health and welfare of people. And the crime rate of theft and uh, personal harm and all that kind of stuff. It's Somalia, this whole fucking country, if you don't want to look after it properly. Uh, also, it's called slavery if you're not getting three meals a day and living in a decent house. Because, hey, how did the slaves live in the 1700s? In a shack, on the floor, baby table, and whatnot. It's exactly the same as half the people who are making under $30,000 are, pretty much. Living on uh, second-hand clothing, not brand new. That's uh, basically like slavery in the 1700s before uh, slavery was ran out in 1750. I don't know. It's all in human rights. There's definitions, everything. All you have to do is hit the thing. Like I said, there's a website out there called uh, Billy the Kid. Or Billy the Kid. Uh, here, I'll tell you right now. I'm looking it up on my thing. There we go. Billy the Kid, why people go postal, drbillykid.hubpages.com, http, double dot, backslash, backslash, drbillykid.hubpages.com, backslash, hub, backslash postal. You can read about it, how making people go postal is a, a premeditated act caused by people. And that's the reason why people go out and harm people and freak out. It's a long, drawn out process like they've done to me for 12 fucking years to a fucking T. Take away their livelihood, make their lives miserable, make their lives miserable, make them life miserable, and then do a couple climaxes and then fucking really make it miserable in some type of final attack, then they go out and uh, freak out. It's a, uh, a forbidden technique, and it's psychological warfare and torture, and it's a premeditated act upon the person or people they're trying to do it to. It's right there. It's a criminal offense. Torture. 269? No, that's uh, uttering threats. Ah, you'll find it. It's in the Criminal Code Book of Canada. Just go to the webpage, uh, www.justice.ca or GC. CA, and uh, you'll pop it up in five seconds. I'll say that once more. Uh, where is it here? Law dash L O I S dot justice dot G C dot C A backslash E N G backslash X backslash C slash or slash 46. Take you right to the Canadian Criminal Code books and you can look it up yourself. It tells you all the stuff that you'll ever need to read. Even uh, Charter Human Rights. And you look under Wikipedia for Charter Human Rights and you can read from uh, Section 1 to Section 32 and uh, all the different sections from uh, Cruel Acts and Punishments, 
meaning uh, doing anything that uh, is cruel or harmful to another person being, to uh, pain and suffering, to uh, slavery, to uh, not giving social services two or three times in their lifetime and making them feel mental anguish or heartache or anything like that, making them live on the streets, and so on and so on and so on. It's all there. Guess you guys aren't cops. Guess uh, people aren't protectors of the world. This isn't an act. This is not a crazy man speaking. And uh, anything that any of the RCMPs do to people is just a biased opinion, especially dropping them off at a fucking hostel and getting some angry doctor to jab a fucking needle into whatever they did that makes you pass out and uh, drain their blood so their uh, penis size shrinks and their chest fills up with, what do you call it, gynomasculus, which they didn't have before because it's a uh, estrogen increase in their body and so on and so on and so on. It's not proof of uh, testosterone overdoses or anything, especially when you haven't made uh, tons of money in your life because you've only worked minimum wage jobs and you've never had thousands of dollars to spend on testosterone on the black market. Which, uh, oh yeah, I do know. They used to be like $26 for a one ampule uh, bottle of Deca or Sipinate or this Russian Cobalt or uh, what was the other one that had uh, Omnidrain or something like that? It came in a green box. But they were all about 26 to 30 bucks a uh, friggin' ampule. Sometimes 2cc, sometimes 1cc. Get them at the doctor's office. Period. That's all I ever saw when somebody asked me if I ever wanted to buy some. End of story. You guys take care. Pretty psychotic, eh? What uh, that mace did to me this morning. Took a uh, mood enhancer from uh, a program thing, and it, that made me feel a little better. It was, uh, I don't know what it did, but uh, a little caffeine and a little pick-me-up, I guess. Take it easy.